Hi, my name's Sue Larkey. Today I want to talk to you about a fantastic picture book called The Red Beast, Controlling Anger in Children with Asperger's Syndrome. But to tell you the truth, I think this book isn't just for kids with Asperger's Syndrome. I think all kids experience anger and often need help and guidance. But for me, working with children with autism spectrum, one of their big issues is actually understanding emotions. And there's been a lot of research into this and Tony Atwood's fabulous books on um, cognitive behaviour therapy. But I think books like this really complement what we do as teachers. You can use this book for as young as five-year-olds and it just is gorgeous. Um, let me show you inside this book. Deep inside everyone, a red beast lies sleeping. When it is asleep, the red beast is quiet and small. And look at this beautiful picture that shows all of us with our beast. And I think for children on the spectrum or with ADHD or ODD, knowing everyone has that beast is really, really important. However, when it wakes up, it begins to grow and grow. Strangely, as it grows, its ears begin to shrink and its eyes get smaller and smaller, yet its mouth grows bigger and bigger. I had a little boy with Asperger's once explain to me that when he was having anxiety or um, this feeling, which he didn't call anxiety, but this yucky feeling, that he couldn't hear anyone and he couldn't see anything. And his body language even expressed that. He'd, his shoulders would go up and he'd see his head drop. I'm sure many of you have seen that. And we call that the first stage of a meltdown. And noticing these signs is so important. But for me, teaching the children to notice the signs themselves and what to do when it happens is really important. This book goes on to share an incident where the young boy gets hit by a ball. And when he gets hit by the ball, his red beast gets woken up. And how to deal with that feeling of the beast being woken up. At the back of the book, it's got some sensational strategies that you can use. And some of these ideas include making your own red beast box. For me, I call this a sensory toolbox. And those of you who have been to my sessions would have seen all the great sensory tools I recommend. But reading this book, you can create your red toolbox. In here, we have one of our liquid timers, which go for three minutes. So for a child to go and sit and look at that for three minutes really helps calm them. Things like the water ball, fantastic. For kids who like deep pressure, I'd recommend the wooden hand massager. And for kids who like things like blue tack, these are my favourite. They're little dinosaurs, but they can squish them together or they can pull them apart or some children like lining them up. But if that gives them the movement they need to reduce their anxiety, it's doing the job. Also, some kids like spinning tops. And for some of my kids who bite, pick their fingers or self-harm, I highly recommend the Chewy Chew. Those of you that haven't tried these, I was pessimistic, but they are sensational. So creating an area, maybe with a red mat, with your box of sensory tools, because remember they need a range of tools. Different days, different things will work. Just like when you're angry, not the same strategy works all the time. But there's one thing I know, when you're angry, telling you to calm down rarely works. We all use other strategies. So things like this are fabulous. Some of the kids I know actually need deep pressure. Things like wheat bags, that they can sit on themselves on their mat, and this mat, notice how it's textured so the child can fidget with the actual tassels. It's just a bath mat. But letting the child go and sit in this area, a safe spot, a way where they can then calm themselves is brilliant. But the other thing I wanted to say is many of our kids actually need water or a drink when they're anxious. And we know that drinking through a straw is often more relaxing. So I'd encourage you to find a cup with a straw on it because actually if you send a kid out to the bubbler, Often at schools with the fountains and bubblers, they get water on themselves and then they get more anxious because now they're wet. So looking at something like this or a drink bottle, absolutely brilliant. And some of my kids ask them to come and sit here. They really, it's not going to calm them. So looking at something like an exercise ball where they can actually get lots of physical activity, absolutely brilliant. So if you're looking for things like this, I highly recommend you have a read of a book like this, The Red Beast. Read it with your whole class too because as my doctorate research on inclusion says, we need to educate the other children. So when they see this other child getting upset, they need to understand that that's just their angry beast being, being awakened and that everything's okay. Best of luck. Happy reading.